Well, hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Crossword Joe. This was yesterday's puzzle. We uh, we had a very, very rare uh, appearance from Ren Schultz. In fact, yesterday was the second one. I did check on it, and he was the very first one that was part of this program. This He was number one, like we're currently on 60-some. And so there's like a over a two month stretch there where he was, the, Ren was unseen. And look at this, there's only the two. This was yesterday's puzzle. Uh, this was on December 27th or 6th, something like, something like that. And look at it, pushes him up to the very top of the leaderboard as far as, you know, the longest completion time. This is just average com puzzle completion time. And with that second one, he pushes him over Fred, who had been leading here for quite a while. Uh, and look, he almost has a minute on Bruce. But then look at that, a little over 30 seconds more is Ren. So, and we're up to 14, 18. We gotta start getting that down. Or I, I kinda like it around 15, don't I? But I always like the, the idea of you know doing better. I guess shorter times are better. Anyway. Uh, Take a gander at that, and now we'll go back to today's puzzle. Uh, we go up to our regular routine. We make sure that the puzzle is set on expert. Otherwise, we, the any letters that we put in that, that are wrong are going to be red, and we don't want that. We want to have the mystery of not needing that type of, of uh, assistance. Here, this sound effects check mark mysteriously checks itself in the middle of the night, and we have to uncheck it because tomorrow it's going to be right back again. And go to today's puzzle, which is stifling two laughs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stifling two laughs. And it's by Fred. So this is another Fred Biscop edited by Fred Biscop during the week. It's become more and more of a normal occurrence for, for a while there. And, uh, there wasn't any, but now it's like it's, it's pretty common. So uh, let's see if it's, it's another tough one. We'll see. So let's begin. A river through Lake Geneva. Oh boy, right off the bat. A Facebook entry is a post, correct? Is that what y'all call them? Because I don't hardly do that at all. Comic uh, Schumer, that's Amy, right? Isn't that Amy? Right hands, so to speak. Right hands, so to speak could be AIDS, uh, word before hoop and skirt. Think about it. Think about that. What's the word that you can put before hoop or skirt? I'm going to say hula. Hula hoop, hula skirt. Professor Plum's game. Everybody knows this, right? Well, you always say that when you know it. You know, it's like, oh, everybody knows this, right? Because I do. Element in some match heads. Uh, in some match heads, I don't know that that becomes pretty ambiguous. Uh, place to sled. It's going to be a hill. Twisting force. Torque. Twisting force. Torque. Right. Hmm. Dismissal as from office. Ah, uh, talk like a, just put a slur, oh yeah, you know, sir, what if they don't, what if it doesn't meet their approval, then I suppose they're going to call for your, what, removal, that's right, that's an order from your commander, pub round is ales. Ales, Buck of Hee Haw, Buck Owens. Y'all remember that? Man, I remember watching that. That was funny. That was a funny show for a little eight year old. Double layered like tissue. That's going to be like a tissue. It's going to be two ply. That's what they call it. Yeah. Dry out as earth. Um, don't know. Cuss words. Um, don't know. Partner of red beans. Not blue beans. Not jelly beans, but red beans. I'm going to say rice, as in 
rice and beans. <laughs> rice and beans. Adolf of the New York Times. Adolf. Uh huh. Don't know you. Sorry. Uh, Puente of Jazz. That's going to be Tito, right? Or Tito? Tito? Tito Puente? Was nostalgic, longed for, uh, yearned for, was nostalgic. Um, I bet a good butt is a pal. Was nostalgic for, unlike a green, I'm going down now. Unlike a green banana, a green, an unlike that is ripe, right? So it's going to be R, what's the, oh, pined. That's right, Pine is like that one song. Mrs. Brown, you daughter, lovely daughter. No, let's see. Can't Pine, I think that's the line in the song, but anyway, let's go on. We're in trouble, oh oh, better call Mako. And I think we are in trouble. I think it's sticking a little bit. Let's see, 40, 41, oh, it's moving now. Let's see, uh, let's see, we're in trouble, uh, Oh, I guess that's right. One Arm Bandit feature. Well, that's those uh, slot machines, right? Did a takeoff of, I'm going to say, since that's going to be a, a good bud is a uh, pal, so it's going to be a aped when you ape somebody. That means you copy them. Powder, I, I didn't know that outside of Crossword. I really don't. I don't recall that being used at all. To describe copying somebody, but you learn things in crossword puzzles. Potter's potions professor. Potter's potions professor. Say that fast five times. And I think it's Snape. If it's not, it should be. Barn nestling. That would be an owlet. That's like a small owl. Owlet. Another Crossword favorites. Ascended at an auction. Ascended. That means you nodded, you agreed, you um, see a fattening food to it. Oh, we can just move on. Bored with it all. I'm just bored with it all. I uh, don't know. Am Scray. I'm going to say scat. We've had this several times in the last week. Utility for some homeowners. That's going to be, I don't know. And let's see, Hatsava and O Canada. Those are anthems, right? And, th oh boy. Oh, and. Yeah, we got to put, put the and part. And anthems. There we go. <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize City, not Oslo. It could be, and we'll, we'll see if it helps. One who can't resist Hershey's. That's a, uh, a chocoholic, right? Choc -co -hol -lic. Don't tell me I got that right. I got at least one letter wrong and all that, right? Yacht's Morning Sight. Uh, aid to a fence climber. Uh, push, shove. Cameron Hank Aaron from right here in Atlanta. Let's see, at least that's where he broke the record. Musical about Ms. Perron, that was Avita, right? Played by Madonna. I liked that movie. I thought that was I thought it was pretty good. Our base system is we use a base system 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, and then you start over again adding the one. Candidates for shearing. Those would be sheep, lambs. And so it's candidates. So it's going to be three letters, which is usually E W E. And a bowling alley button is reset. There we go. Let's go down now. Totally absorbed uh, into um, Kermit the Frog's greeting. We need this. We need this, guys. This is for six. Kermit Frog's greeting. Hi ho. Hi ho. Kermit the Frog here. I'm here to tell you that I do not know how to spell this kind of cheese. 
but let's see. No, is, is it like a Limburger? Because that'd be odor. In fact, we can kind of quality. I'm gonna say odor. If it's anything like Limburger. Ooh. Tabloids lock. That'd be Loch Ness. Okay, so yeah, this will make me feel a little bit better here now. Uh, fertile, futile, futile observations. Furtive, furtive operations, observations. <laughs> Gadget <clears throat> for many selfies is going to be your phone. It's like amazing. Our town is a that wilder play. And talk like it. We had this earlier slur, right? Slur. Uh, subdued by stunning. Informally is tase. Don't tase me, bro. Don't tell that's not gonna be a Z, is it? No. Oh, it's actually gonna be phosphorus. Yeah, that's part of match head. Uh, still kicking, alive. Um, 1998, Disney heroine, Mulan. Okay. Types in all caps online, yells. I like it when, you know, it's like you don't even know. It's like, yeah, I, I agree. That's what I would, that, that makes sense. Big eater. Uh, chow hound, like um, little, not even seven month old kitten, it's quadrupled my cat budget. <laughs> oh, fit for sainthood, uh, holy, a uh, holy man. Slip on shoe, for sure, that's like a moccasin. I think that's a, it'd be a C there. A compact piano is a spinet. Okay, uh, trike riders are tots. Uh, cry like a banshee whale. Uh, grid great, autogram, autogram. Image editing software, that's gonna be just Photoshop, right? Photoshop. Passed with flying colors, aced and Visibly irate, you are red. Parch. Yeah, that makes sense. Drying out. What was it? Something like, yeah, dry out as earth. Yep. Good. Moving on. We already had this. Unlike a green banana is ripe. Bit of punch card litter. That'd be a Chad. Everybody knew everything about Chads a while back, wasn't it? Was that uh, just 2000? Man. Cross one's finger, hope. I'm crossing my fingers, man. I really hope. Place for hose and rakes. Shed. I thought shed was in another clue, which is kind of unusual that you include that in there and not reference to it. You know, that's the thing. Good bud, pal. Uh, let's see. Aloe, notably, is a soother. So something wrong here, right? Soothe. Shouldn't that be? That should be O. Amscray is okay. Shoe. Yeah, it's not scat. But the, I think the S is correct. <laughs> oh, okay. Soother. There we go. And I got a little ginger cat here. Her name is Ginger. She's three years old, and she just got up on my shoulder like she did. Remember that a couple weeks ago? And then uh, she didn't stick around very long, though. She's she's out. Okay, we uh, let's, let's get back into this. Fat, fattening food to a dieter is a no-no. It's a no-no. Aid to a fence climber. I'm gonna say a boost. That fits. Fine cotton thread. Uh, linen. No aggressive. Poker bet is all in. All. In. And breaks into as a computer hacks, that's correct. A post marathon feeling, ache, warming in relationships, that's thaw. Uh, let's see if these are right. Lifted, hove, okay, that's, that's cool. Bula Bula is the Eli's, which are part of Yale. Remember, Eli is part of Yale, is part of when it, you, a lot of times when you see collegians, and you don't see this too often. But Eli's is definitely a collegian. And it's 
uh, and crossword puzzles quite a bit. Dust dwelling uh, mite, that's correct. Amscray, scat. Yeah, so we had shoe. Weren't those exactly the same clues? We had scat and yeah, amscray. Amscray, yeah. Okay, let's finish these up. Let's go across river. Um, I still don't know that. Let's see, right hands, yeah, AIDS. I'm gonna say AIDS on that. Uh, element in some match heads, and we can take a, maybe a look at uh, today's clue to see if this um, this helps us at all. Now, phos, F, uh, no, P, right? Phosphorus, it's like back-to-back -back pHs. Let's see what this is. Twisting force, um, torsion, torsion, torsion. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can come back and get this one going down. Totally absorbed. Um, don't know. I imagine this is uh, wrapped. Yeah, because this would be right, piss, uh, yeah, os. There we go. And we're down to this down here, assuming that the rest of those are correct. Uh, bored with it all, blase. And oil heat, yeah, utility for some homeowners is oil heat. And then let's see, let's go. Yeah, it's my slot. Um, ship. Let's see, maybe not ship. Um, fine. Kind of, oh boy, here, here's a yacht. Yacht's morning sight. Skip. Slip. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Slip. Ah, that's one of those rare occurrences where even when you have all the letters but one in two clues, you still can't come up with that one letter. And hopefully it doesn't you know, happen too often, but th there was a, just a few guessing on this last one right here. Because <laughs> Yacht's Warning Sight, Slip, I guess so. And I've never heard of this before, this fine cotton thread. Lizzle. Uh, so that's, those are the problem areas, but we got through it. You know, it's like we were able to reason it out enough for just, you know, two or three guesses is, is fine. And look at that, it's less than 14 minutes. It's right about at our average, which is like, what was it, 14, 13, something like that? Uh, 14, 18. So it's just uh, a few seconds underneath. So don't see, we're not gonna see too much of a change in uh, the average time. But uh, let's go to today's theme. Miss Biscop, let's see. Stifling two laughs. Okay, I would imagine we're looking at windmill again here, right? Because that's the long, this one's 10. And then this one is nine, but it's still the longest ones. And then down here, what do all these have in, uh, let's see, there's a lot of, do they all just have O's? No, they have O's. Stifling two laughs. Oh, I get it. Do you get it? I'll give you a couple seconds or pause if you need to, to to try to figure this one out. This is cute. This is cute. And okay, I assume that you've, you're back from pausing. And look at each one of these words here, the, the big ones. Phosphorus. Okay, well it was Phosphorus. Oh, we had we had a little a little interference from a little uh, uh, another cat here. That's not even seven months, and uh, that's Gilligan. And anyway, uh, okay, stifling two laughs. Phosphorus. Look at that word. Look at this one going down. Do you see any similarities there? A lot of O's, a lot of H's, right? Right? Ho, ho is in each of those answers. Ho, ho in phosphorus. Ho, ho in <laughs> chow down. He keeps wanting to change the answers here. There's uh, two ho, ho's in chocoholic, H O H O. And there's two in Photoshop, ho, ho, ho. So it's like, it's stifling two laughs, so it's almost like it's surrounding it. It's almost like you're covering up two uh, ho, ho's, which is 
two laughs. So very clever, very clever. Uh, hope you had fun uh, solving this with me. A little bit uh, uh, tricky on finding out what the, uh, the theme was. It really couldn't help us. I mean, unless you knew right off the bat that, oh, that means there's two ho-hos in it. <laughs> and I don't think it really would help anybody. But it's fun to try to figure it out afterwards, isn't it? Okay, so um, I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Please comment if you want to see some other stats, if you like that one where it showed a line graph of my completion times and my video times or whatever, or anything else that you want to talk about or see, uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, uh, I hope again, I hope you had fun, and uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. And thank you.